Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to root an Android AVDs. I will show you that how to root the Android emulator with the API 30. So here, first of all, you just need to follow this particular steps. So first of all, I'm just following the step that is step number one, start your Android emulator. So just to switch to your Android studio and here, you can click on tools device manager and here you can create the device if it is not there i have the device that is pixel 2 api 30 you can just click on start this will launch android avd and you will be able to see that my android emulator is available over here and second step is in a browser go to the url that is github.com root avd so i'm just copying this particular url and you can paste over here in a browser you will be able to see that root avd github.com is available over here you can just go to code and download the zip so see here my uh, zip is being downloaded you can just click on so all so you can see over here that root avd master.zip is downloaded you can just go to the so in folder and here you can just extract the folder so i'm just extracting the folder that is root avd master so see here my folder is extracted you can just move to that particular folder that is root avd master so this is my path where my root avd master is available so this is the step number three extract the download folder and move to the directory root avd master now from command prompt we need to write the command so i'm just moving to that particular directory in a command prompt so here you can just write cmd and you can change to the directory where your root avd master is currently downloaded so here it is available in my downloads folder root avd master root avd master you can just switch to that particular directory using cd now here you will be able to see that I am in this folder that is root avd master. Now you can run the command root avd dot bat. You can also write the root avd dot bat list all avds. So I'm writing over here that is root avd dot bat. You can make enter and here you will get the example that root avd dot bat list all avds are there. Here now you can choose the appropriate API. So my API is a 30. So here you can just copy this, that is a API 30 remdisk dot image. You can just copy this line. And here from command prompt, you can run this. That is root avd dot bat system images Android 30. As per your emulator configuration, you need to copy this. And you can press enter here, just wait. It will clean up all the ADB working space. It will create the ADB working space. It will taste everything and automatically it will detect the RAM disk also. And your AVD will be shut down automatically. If AVD does not shut down, you can try it manually also. See here, my AVD is shut down. Now, once it is a shut down, we need to start the cold boot. Step number five. That is from Android Studio Device Manager, click the cold button now. So I'm just switching to Android Studio. You can just click on Device Manager and here just click on cold boot now. So see here, cold boot requested by the user. So now my Android emulator is being started. See here, Android emulator is launched. Now, once your Android emulator is launched, now our next task is just check from the ADB command devices. Is this device is running or not? So you can run over here. That is ADB devices. And see here, one device is running over here. That is emulator. You can write over here ADB cell. Now you can write over here LS and see here, so many files are available, but is the super access rights is available with me? No. So you can write over here, that is SU. And whenever you write the SU and you press the enter, immediately you will get the prompt over here in the Android emulator that 
grant the super access or not. But before writing the SU command, I want to just check that can I have the root access or not by default in an Android emulator. So you don't have a root access. For example, suppose if you write over here ls, see here so many folders are available. Now my data folder is available. Let me switch to the directory that is data data and you can write ls over here. See here it is giving me the message that the permission is denied. Now I'm not able to access this data folder, but I want to access this. So what to do? Very simple. You can write over here su. Whenever you write su, you will get the super user access. So you can just press enter over here and see here immediately you will get the prompt over here and this will be automatically refused within 10 seconds. So you can click on grant over here and whenever you grant over here, you will get the message cell was granted super user rights and now you can write ls over here see here i am able to access the folders so now you have the root access to the emulator and see here i am able to access all the files and folders available on the emulator and here in step number six i just written the command that is su command and within 10 seconds you just need to grant if you grant successfully, you will have a root access on your Android emulator. So this is the way you can root your Android emulator. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.